So Soul Simmers, have you downloaded apartments from the gallery that need to be converted to actual residential rentals? Do you have a build that you worked on that you're trying to figure out how to actually make functional with the new for rent expansion pack? Well, today I'm gonna be taking the builds that I have saved to the gallery and converting them to actual residential rentals that we can use with the new Sims 4 for rent expansion pack. So let's get started. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna convert is this base game apartments build that I did. I actually have a speed build posted on my YouTube channel if you wanna check that out here somewhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and convert this into an actual residential rental that will be functional with the Sims 4 for rent. So this build will go from being base game only to base game and for rent only. Ignore this because I don't know why it's saying that it's using something from Horse Ranch when nothing shows up here. So this is a build that I made based on a photo that I found on Pinterest. Um, I wanna go through and I'm gonna convert it to a residential rental, but the first thing I wanna look at is some of the items from the new pack that I may wanna add. This is the first time I'm seeing these things, so I'm just like, you know, like I'm thinking I want to add a functional water heater and electrical fuse box. I think that would be fun. And then I also want to add the hopscotch back here because duh, that sounds so cute. I wish I could add it here because I doubt that they actually would want it on this fancy apartment's property, but I'm going to do it like here. And look at some of these swatches. Oh, oh my God, that one's so cute. Okay, I think that looks super cute. This is the basement level and I want to add some of the water heater and electrical fuse boxes to this room. So they gave us a non-functional electrical fuse box as well as a non-functional water heater, but I actually do want this stuff to be functional in this place. So I'm gonna add this electrical fuse box. Okay, the electrical fuse box is here and then I'm gonna add a water heater. So in order to convert this building into a functional residential rental, I have to go through and click each of the rooms and assign them to different units. So I'm gonna start with this one here and I'm going to click on this room and I'm gonna click here and convert it from shared. It says this area is accessible to all Sims that live on the lot. As there is currently only one unit, it will be considered part of that unit. And so then, so instead here, I can click to make this room a part of one twin Oracle point. And so then I just have to go through and do that for each of these rooms. So I'm gonna click here and instead of shared, I'm gonna assign it to one twin oracle point. I want this to be a part of that same unit, and I also want this room to be a part of that same unit. So now, if you can see the outline, this blue outline is for this entire unit. The other thing is, I do have balconies for these units, so I'm gonna click on this room as well, and I'm gonna assign it to one twin oracle point. So now the outline should be around this entire square. And so now I have one functioning unit. So I'm gonna go to the other side of my building, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna click on this room and instead of assigning it to the unit that I was working on before I want to create a new unit so it automatically created over here oh let me move my camera so now I have two units here I've got one twin oracle point and I've got two twin oracle point here with all the same details about the unit value the unit dimensions how many bedrooms and bathrooms and then suggested items to be added to this unit this one is telling me like suggestions for items that I already have in this unit so I don't know what that's about but I'm just gonna I'm gonna let it ride I'm gonna go back over here to to two and I'm going to add these rooms to this other unit that I've made. So as I'm viewing the progress, I wonder if it'll update here. The plus sign must mean that I already have it and it's increasing my unit's rating. So I was a little confused by that, but that's fine. Okay, anyway, so now this whole section is a part of two Twin Oracle Point. Now before I move on, I'm just gonna put one bed and one bathroom as well as on one. It, I think it means bedrooms and not number of beds because For Rent has like a bed counting system. So I'm hoping that's what this is about. Yeah, oh my gosh, I've made my first two units uh, for my building. <laughs> okay, so for all of these other rooms, I think by default, the rooms are tagged as shared. When it comes to the trash room, the lobby area, the game room that I made, and the party room and their associated bathrooms, these are all already tagged as shared. So I don't have to do anything there. Uh, so let's go upstairs to the units that I have upstairs. So let me go ahead and make some more units. I mean, it really is as easy as just clicking and adding them. My computer is not liking this process. I did get a little spinny wheel of death. So that is a little concerning, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna 
per servir. It's taken a long time to add these rooms to my unit and I'm not sure what that that's about okay those seem to go okay and let me not forget the balcony okay so moving on to this unit i'm going to go in here and create another unit so it's going to make four to an oracle point and now i have a little purple outline i was wondering if we could change the color of these can we we can <laughs> i shouldn't be so impressed but i am i was like i think i can change the color of those okay cool so let me continue to add these i can already see you can get a little dicey and you might you might miss a room. So now you can see the outlines. I wonder, can I toggle? Oh, you can toggle. Oh, wait, what am I talking? What did I just toggle? Hide unit. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting, interesting. Delete unit, hide unit, and assign all rooms to this unit. Okay, well, what I actually wanted to do was turn off the lines. Unit outlines, toggle visibility of unit outlines. So I can toggle them all on and off. That's interesting. So I'm gonna go to the very top floor and I'm gonna work on my last two units that I made for this build. And then this is the last unit here. This is gonna be the last unit I can make. Once I click here, it says the residential rentals can have a max of six units. Now there is a cheat for that. If you wanna have more than six units, I, I, I don't need to use it right now, but I will put the cheat here if you're interested. Hi, it's me editing the video and I thought, let me just tell you what the cheat is. Make sure that you have testing cheats on, control shift C on your keyboard and type testing cheats on. The cheat itself is bb.increaserentalunitcap on slash off. So if you want to have more than six units, it's bb.increaserentalunitcap on. If you're fine with the limit and you've turned the cheat on, you can turn it back off with bb.increaserentalunitcap off. That's all back to the video. The other thing that I did want to check was, is there another way to add these units because you know there's a room build tool I was hoping they would have like a custom unit tool or something where we were able to like click and drag around the entire perimeter but it doesn't look like we have that that is a little unfortunate but that's okay I mean clicking on each room is not too bad it was just one of those things where I was like oh it would have been nice so obviously the base game version of my apartments are updated on the gallery you can go ahead and download that now now I'm going to do the multi-pack version and make the same changes this is interesting so it won't let me place my regular residential lot over this lot. Okay, loading back into it, I was able to get this menu, so that's fine. I'm just gonna convert this back to a residential. There seems to be a little, little few little issues, but that's fine. I'm gonna now, this has been converted back to a regular residential lot. I'm going to get my other version of this same exact build from the gallery real quick. Okay, now that this is placed, I'm just gonna go through and do the same exact things that I did. So just give me one second. I made to like the extended packs version of the build was I added this sign. I'm gonna go back and add the sign to the base game version because this is a base game sign. I did the same thing and added the hopscotch to the back. In the party room, I actually decided to change the coffee maker to one of the new tea kettles because you can also make pour over coffee with the tea kettle. Um, and I wanted to use one of the new items. For the mail, I had to put the mail in front of the stairs because this version of the build has a laundry room where I put the mailbox in the base game version. 
but this should still be accessible to your Sims. I also went through and added some signage in different spots just to add a touch more uh, detail and realism. I even added a little safety sign above this uh, electrical box, you know, again, for more detail. And yeah, all of the units have been converted so that they are functional with for rent. So this lot is on the gallery. It's ready for you to download. Yeah, what's also cool is when you, when they have the residential rental lot type listed, they also show you how many units are in the lot. So that's really cool. And I placed a lot down here in the bottom left in Newcrest. Okay, so this is my townhomes that I built in Del Sol Valley. What I did here, this is the lot that's next to the playground. And I tried to make it look like there was multiple townhomes on the same lot. So I have these two townhomes, which are actually functional. And then these two back here are just debug items. So what I did with this building is I copied these two buildings. So you can go through and delete everything or you can leave it furnished as is these two buildings are basically the exact same just with different outsides so i just need to quickly convert this to a residential rental so i'm going to go do the same thing that i did before i'm going to change the lot type to residential rental and i'm going to add this one to one upland place except for i'm going to rename this one two three a upland place we'll we'll try that i'm having fun with the addressing just don't mind me so the the first building is done now i need to make another unit so i'm going to start back here okay so i've named this one one two three b upland place and i'm going to add all the rooms to b it's cool that even though there's no like doors to this i can still add this to the residential rental and that's because this is like a platform an outdoor platform and it's designated as a room so this is interesting this the stairs the, the way i did it is considered its own room so so I just need to make sure that that's a part of this unit. Yeah, I missed that over here too. That's why I'm saying we need to be able to just click and drag around like the room tool. All of the rooms are associated with the appropriate unit. I'm gonna change the color of this because again, I, it's hard for me to see. This is now a residential rental and it's functional and everything I need is here. I don't, I won't add anything else. I just wanna make sure it functions as a re residential rental. You can download this lot from the gallery. It's called Upland Place Townhomes. I'm in Brightchester and now I wanna convert a build that I did that is an unfurnished loft apartment build. I place it on this lot here. So let me just go in there so I can convert it. So this is the build that I made. I base it off the buildings that are like nearby in the world. So the way that the build is designed is when you walk in, there's like a shared base here for like the stairs to go upstairs to the other unit. Downstairs, there's a one large unit where there is a living area, kitchen, there's a bathroom and a closet, and then also a bedroom. And then upstairs in the unit, there's a copy of what's downstairs so that there's a bedroom, there is a bathroom, and then there's a closet. And then out in the hall here, you can see if you go all the way to the top, there is um, a one final unit. So I'm just gonna make some adjustments. So one, like I can see here a mistake that I made where I've got the lights peeking through. I also saw downstairs that I have like greenery peeking through. So I'm gonna fix all that and I'm gonna convert this into a residential unit. Now this is ready to become a new residential rental. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go up. So the first floor is done. I'm gonna go up to the second floor. The second floor is part of the same unit. So I'm just gonna add these to the same unit and so it's interesting because this area with no floor or anything like no one can access but just in case I'm going to assign it to the unit one so it's clear that this is all a part of this unit okay great I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to make a new unit so we're going to make mossy lane unit two I'm adding all of these rooms to unit two it's that easy and then yeah this hallway out here is going to be shared space so they can get to the different floors and they can access the trash so yeah yeah, I mean, that's it. Okay, so this is now on the gallery. It's under Loft Apartments Unfurnished, or I put Loft Apps Unfurnished, and it's a residential rental with two units. The last unit that I'm gonna be updating to a functional apartment with the four rent residential rental lot is my Parkside Place duplex. This is where Angelica lives in my Nectar Empire Let's Play, so I'm gonna update it to make it a functional rental unit, and I'm gonna share that update to the gallery. Okay, so since I built this for my Let's Play, I've made made some changes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a stove 
back to this lot because I forgot a stove when I built this. So I'm going to switch out the sinks and switch out the stove. The other thing is I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't have a smoke alarm in here because again, if I forgot to put a stove, I definitely forgot to put a smoke alarm. So I'm just gonna put one here. Now, one thing I did talk about was actually making this building a functional third unit. Let me see how I feel about doing that real quick. Let me save and then let me see if I can whip that up. All right, so I have finished converting this into an actual building that can have actual units. So upstairs, there is an apartment. It's a little dingy, um, but there is two bedrooms and one bathroom. So there's a kind of like a primary bedroom here, another bedroom here, and then the bathroom for the unit. And then this whole area is like open concept. So there's the kitchen and the living area and some dining space. And then back here, I added a little desk. Then downstairs, it's basically, I was thinking of it as like a converted basement, even though it's like above ground. So this one's especially just dingy and dirty. When you walk, oh, and that's the other thing. There's no real front door. So there's the garage here, and then there is like a door here, so you can enter either way. But assuming that you walk in from the back here, there is a door to the bedroom, which is just big. I just thrown some furniture in there because I'm not planning on playing in these units. And if you are planning on playing in the unit, I'm assuming you're gonna redecorate to your satisfaction anyway but you know there's some placeholder he stuff here for you there's also one bathroom here but it's dingy uh the kitchen is actually you know pretty spacious considering like it's a big um space but the counters actually hold on wait let me update this real quick okay i've adjusted it so all of the counters are like the used dirty versions from city living um and you see here that there's like the used dirty versions of the appliances i put some stains in the in the apartment um i used some of the furniture from basement treasures this whole apartment basically is just like junky leftover stuff i don't know if like i'm thinking to myself maybe just some young guy who's you know gonna serve as the super for the building or something lives here or this is like the last of the units that they need to redo if if the person owns the entire lot okay so now this is ready to be converted into a residential rental so i'm gonna do that i don't have any other edits to make so I'm just gonna click on residential rental and now it's time to start the conversion I already see an issue with having to click the floor because I've got these little stains on the floor so now I have to click a very specific spot on the floor that doesn't have anything but that's okay I, I was able to find a spot it's not that big of a deal all right so now I have four different units just checking that everything is in yep yep that looks good to me now the thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a few lot challenges so to 1A, I'm going to add um, mold because this one's like the dirtiest one and filthy. Filthy is from clog sewers and all that stuff. Oh, there's also grody. Yeah, we'll add all the ones that are just kind of a little grimy. And then we have homey. I'm not sure if this place is particularly homey, but I'll do that anyway. So I'm just gonna go through and add all of my lot challenges and traits to these. Okay, these are all now converted. The only thing is now I wanna add like a utility room or something. The water heater itself, Maybe I'll have a non-functional one for decoration out in the back. Actually, this is this would be a fine place just to have one that's functional if it fits here. Oh, no, no. Okay, it doesn't, does it? Okay, yeah. I'll add the non-functional one here. Okay, so this is also now available on my gallery. My gallery ID is V Street Love. And as you can see, I've used several packs here, but I'm also like actually using a very similar build in, a, in the Let's Play that I'm doing on my channel. So yeah, that's it for me, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I mean, it was really easy to convert my existing builds into functional apartments with The Sims 4 for rent. My only nitpicky feedback would be that I wish that we had a room tool like system where we could define a whole unit rather than having to click individual rooms to add to each individual unit. But still the system is really simple to use. It's really simple to edit and change. And I'm excited. I'm excited to see what other apartments there are out there. I'm excited to download some apartments and I'll be making more apartments in the near future. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel, you like this video and you turn on the post notifications so you know when my next video goes up. Let me know in the comments which apartment is your favorite one. But until next time, have fun playing Sims, Dag Dag!